Okay, so we just arrived at Shepherd State Park where we're camping for the weekend. I thought it would be a good time to do a walkthrough of our 6x12 cargo trailer conversion to camper. See how we haven't done one yet. My husband did this project during the pandemic last year. I have another video showing the before pictures and the build if you're interested in checking that out. So he has these levels installed around the trailer to help him when he's leveling the camper when we're setting up. And along the side here, he's got a toolbox. You see the stabilizers as well. Over here to the side, we have the propane bottle mounted. And the hose for the propane comes around to the side. where it goes into our bathroom where we have a propane hot water heater. Next to that, we have our water connection. And we have this filter on here, but I'm gonna be honest with you, we haven't noticed it doing any good. Um, this is our second time camping with this camper and the water, even with the filter, has been pretty nasty. So we use bottled water. And then we have where our electrical connects. We have windows on both sides of the trailer. These windows actually came out of a camper shell that we got for free. And we have our spare tire. So one thing my husband noticed after our first camping trip was he did not have enough storage. So we bought these two toolboxes to give him some more storage for the things that he needs for outside. On the side here, he mounted this toolbox in the way that he did so we could actually prop this up, put a post underneath it, and we can use this for a table for cooking or whatnot. And then we have our outside electrical outlet and our AC vent. And of course our door. Okay, <clears throat> so going into the trailer, we have the inside of our door. We have that nice sign that one of my sister-in-laws gave us for Christmas that we love. And my husband used this wood on the inside that we had actually just laying around the house from other projects we did inside the house. To the left here, we have our radio. It's a car radio that he installed in here and a speaker so we can listen to music. Works out very well. And then we have our little fridge, which actually holds quite a bit. It's a good deal of space in there. It has a freezer. My husband built this slide out, so I have some extra counter space there when I'm doing dishes or cooking. That works out very nicely. So our kitchen area, the sink was used from a buffet pan that we had at the house. My husband cut a hole in it and made it into a sink. Then we have our spigot, our backsplash, we use diamond plate. We have the electrical outlet back there that my coffee maker is plugged into. And we have these baskets that I found at the Dollar General that I love. It really has helped with storage. You see I have the plates and bowls, some spices. Up above the kitchen area, we have our microwave. And we have a cabinet. It just lifts up. And I store some bowls in there. You see the colander. And we have the nets that you could put over the food to keep bugs out of them. And it does not, nothing falls out when we're going down the road. We have some hooks there that have come in handy. We also have some storage underneath next to the fridge. There's our plumbing. I have some K-cups there and some pots and pans, some cleaning supplies underneath. Again, another basket on the inside of the door 
works great for storing garbage bags and Ziploc bags. We have this mirror we put on here. And this is where I'll stand and put on my makeup, do my hair in the mornings. So right off the kitchen, we have our bathroom. We have a full-size shower in there. My husband, he's six foot tall and he fits just fine in there. We have our EcoTemp hot water heater. It's propane, works very well, nice hot showers. On the wall, I found that bin somewhere, I can't remember, <laughs> but it works well for storing our toothbrushes and medicine and stuff. Then my husband built some shelves where we have our towels, washcloths, shampoo, toilet paper. I store my broom over in the corner. And then we have our composting toilet. So that box in the back holds our shavings that um, we sprinkle on top when we go to the bathroom. And we like the composting toilet. Um, there's really no smell. It's worked out very well. We actually used this when we tent camped. We had one of those shower tents and we loved it. And so we decided to incorporate that into this build so we don't have to worry about if we don't have sewer back um, sewer connections, we don't have to worry about a black water tank. On the door, we saw this accordion style door for privacy. And we chose that because it's a space saver and it works very well, very easy. Over here to the side. Now my camping stove is on here right now and this is pretty much where we store it when we're camping, but this also gives me extra counter space if I need it. I don't cook in here uh, or I have not yet. We'll actually cook outside. And then we have our AC cabinet. So there's our AC and inside this cabinet here is where the electrical wiring is. All the electrical wiring is actually behind this little wall that my husband built. And we have a little bit of storage in there. So we have a little heater in there. And last time we camped in this, it was in October and it was pretty cold. I, I wanna say, I think it got down into the thirties and that heater kept us nice and warm. Up above, he built a shelf and we bought these little, um, I call them cubby holes, but little bins that we put stuff in. I keep our eating utensils, spatulas up there. Uh, we have canned goods and hot dog buns and um, my dishcloths, mosquito repellent, playing cards, all different kinds of random stuff that we put in there. And this has worked very, very well. And we have these bungee cords that will connect to each other. So when we're going down the road, we don't have to worry about any of these moving anywhere. But he also has this ledge right here that helps keep them in place as well. The curtains I made, I found the fabric on Amazon. We wanted to give it a retro style look in here. So we liked how the curtains came out. And we have some more of those baskets that I love so much that we just put whatever whatever we don't have storage for on top we just stick there on the side now these plastic totes that we have we each have two totes one tote is for our bedding and the other tote is for our clothes now we plan to probably use this for predominantly weekend type camping there's enough space in there that I think we could get away with if we wanted to take it off for a week that we would still have plenty of storage for our clothes in there. So the table my husband built, it's removable. So the top just pops off those white legs and we can put it up against that back door or on up against one of the walls on the side. And then those legs just easily pop off uh, where they're attached to the floor. These little chairs we found, I think my husband found them on walmart.com. And right now they're set up as ottomans. So there's actually storage inside of there. And then they will also fold into a chair that has a back on it and they fold out into beds. And that's what we sleep on. And we liked the idea better than having one big bed because with the two separate beds, there's actually a walkway in between the two. So that comes in handy. 
I'm usually up before my husband in the morning, so I'm not having to crawl over him, you know, to go to the bathroom or just go outside and have coffee. The back door, because it's metal, uh, we can use magnets. So we use magnet hooks on there. Uh, you see I have a jacket hanging there. We've got some cup holders there, my husband's belt. And that Happy Camper sign up there is actually a rug that my other sister-in-law gave us for Christmas. And it was too nice to put outside. We didn't want to get messed up. So we thought we'd use it for decor on the back wall because it needed something there. Another window. We don't have anything for storage up there yet. My husband was just mentioning that maybe he'll build something there. We'll just wait and see if we feel the need to have more storage. But you can, all, you can never have too much storage. Then we have our little entertainment center and that's a 32 inch TV. And we have a PS3 that we use. My husband's a gamer. He has his PS4 and 5 at the house. This one wasn't getting used. So he can play one of his old games and we use it to watch Blu-rays. Both the, the PS3 and that basket there that has our movies and remotes in, um, it is Velcro down there. So we don't have to worry about it sliding around and falling off whenever we're going down the road. It's been working very well. Another hook that my husband put up here for me. I usually hang my purse there and get it out of the way. I'm one of those ladies that has a big purse. So uh, we need it out of the way. And so, you know, you'll hear a lot of campers talking about in their, in their RVs, how you can never have enough hooks. And that is true. You'll never underestimate how many hooks that you could use in here for storage. And that is our walkthrough. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I plan to do some campground reviews for the different campgrounds that we go to. Um, we might be doing some more modifications to this build um, back there on that back wall. My husband has thrown some ideas around about building a wall right there. And so we can put a bunk bed and he's thought about putting a window in the wall so we can open those back doors and have a view of the outside when we're camping. So stay tuned for that. If he decides to do that, we will post a video of that. So thank you for watching. Give us a thumbs up.